Welcome to the channel guys in just a few minutes I'm gonna go grab the truck I've got a chain hooked up around that tree I'm gonna hook it up to the front yank her out I brought the mower over it's just too cheesy in the back there's nothing good to it'll tear it up and it's a belt driven mower it's not gonna have the power to pull that down uh, shouldn't take much with the truck maybe a few feet and it's gonna go crack and then I'm gonna chop it up and burn it up and be done with it all right let me go get the truck i'll leave the camera rolling let's put you guys because you're never in the right spot you know that you know that already all right libby is gonna go absolutely crazy there's melly superintendent of chickens so we're gonna pull up about right there let's go get that truck see if i can even get it in here no, no. Nope, no. been saying for months why don't I just get the truck and pull it down but you guys say no don't do that don't do that just let it sit there for a few months I can't win with you guys all right as you see the tree was no match for big dog big dog took it down like it was nothing and that's actually perfect the way it fell so now I can get this thing all bucked up going into the burn pile and uh, we're gonna leave the tree intact and uh, Russell will be taking this and that cedar there, probably a few more. So I'm going to get this cut up, and we're going to move on to some other things. We've got a lot of things planned for today.
these all bucked up. I like how it fell because it makes it easy to work with. And uh, I could spin this dude around. Got a little bit more here to trim up. See if we can roll it. Nope, don't even need to do that. I'm using geometry or calculus or whatever, you know, how to make your, your teeter totter effect thing. I don't know. up the rest of it I'll go ahead and knock well that's too thick this thing has its limits I don't try to push it through something thick like that I I go get my gas one but so that's a good log believe it or not you get a lot of lumber out of something like that you know just at least some good two by sixes out of the end two by fours whatever you want all right I've been waiting on that for a long time and that's the final down tree of last year's storm and uh, I don't want to I don't want to cut any more down right now I'm done dealing with them uh, got other things that need to be done Woo. and yeah I, I got two dead ones over there when I thought it was one there's one that has one tiny little branch with leaves on it but the entire rest of the tree is dead and uh, there's a widow maker hanging right there I just seen Look at that, you don't like those. But we're gonna save those, some of these trees around here. You know, some of them are struggling. They need to go. I like these kind, I don't know what kind they are. Uh, but they put good shade in the summer. All right. I tell you what, I have been walking past that root beer bottle for 10 years and I've yet to pick it up. So today, let's do something about that. Yeah. It's not old. I'll tell you what. Now we can sit there and walk by it over here. I knew I was going to get some things accomplished today. Man, I'm on fire. All right. Man, I'm glad that tree's down. Doesn't that look much better? There's a whole bunch of little sticks in there. I'm gonna get get to those here in a little bit but right now. I'm gonna go mow the grass, but uh, hey Didn't we just get rid of those two piles? We did I tell you what man the weather kick cannot be better than it has been all week and it looks like We're gonna have some storms Saturday. That's wonderful because I got to take toast to Fort Smith, but other than that Weather forecast is gonna be a lot like this for a while It's just nice and green no humidity the oak tree there is blooming look how long that limb is guys that one it goes all the way to that pine tree wonder what it's going to do if it gets bigger knock that pine tree down i don't know that's the kind of tree you climb as a kid if you'd need a ladder to get up there to where you could climb it all right i'm gonna get some mowing done now i might come in here a little bit at a time throw some more sticks out there's not as many as it looks and i don't want to fire that up right now so i don't want no heat around here all right i'm gonna go get some mowing done there you are hard at work here's your job as superintendent of chickens all right grass is cut looks pretty good now i'm gonna grab some seeds and we're gonna plant some seeds uh, i picked up six more bags of potting soil so we'll get those filled up and those are ready to go there that's got some good it's already mixed up with manure and everything else i got a few eggshells i'm gonna throw in there we'll get some stuff in these little planters and uh here we go waldo i'm not mowing your grass today we're gonna let it thicken up just a little more look at this yard this year they've never had this much grass of course in the old days there was five dogs in here running around but it's just them two and they're older so they don't run around and dig as much but you can't even tell where the fifth wheel used to be 
it's all grown in now that's some good thick grass in there lily likes it don't you lily what about you boy why are you dragging out dryer sheets and i don't even have to know i know it's you because it's the sort of thing you do mr dryer sheet boy always something with that boy took a chair in there and sat with him about a half an hour last night boy that boy was happy because i've been busy haven't really done that yeah we had chair time didn't we boy we need to have a slumber party in there yeah i know a lot of you have said why don't you get a brush hog it'd be a lot easier well guys this is why see these rocks were all hidden until i burnt but they're just everywhere i mean you, you can spend the rest of your life picking these up but they grow they grow up out of the ground every year you can never get rid of them it's insane then I walk back over here, I grab the camera because over in this corner is where I often see rattlesnakes it's out on this rock sunning, but there ain't any here today. That rock right there, I mean, that's just screaming for a snake to get out there and get him a suntan, isn't it? I haven't seen one yet this year. In fact, I don't think I've seen a rattlesnake at all last year, but the year before, many. Uh, we killed a lot of them at the... Uh, at the ranch you know we i'll leave them alone but if they're in a situation where they're in there with your animals you got to take care of them but if i see one back in here if you leave them alone they don't bother you but i was hoping we'd get to see one those are some beautiful rocks there man and that one there i'd like to have that up front somewhere but it's buried way into the ground all right i'm getting back to work okay i got uh some seeds that I've had for a while from, I believe that's pronounced Chia, Chia and Chad in California. Let's see, we got some Thai basil. We'll be planting some of that. And there's a note. Pumpkin. Don't know if I got room. Hot, hot peppers. Oh, we're going to be planting them. Uh, Delicata summer squash. We'll see there. I'm, I'm, I've got an idea for, for some places for squash lemon drop cantaloupe that sounds good and another kind of basil regular we'll plant that german pink tomatoes why well, might throw a seed in just to see i'll probably do that in a cup and straight neck yellow summer squash we got butternut squash Oh, spaghetti squash. You know I'm going to be planting that. That's probably going to go in this side garden over here. Yeah, I think I'm going to plant some Swiss chard. Definitely some radishes, some kale. I don't know that I'm going to have room to do all these. But, uh, you know, that's the good thing about seeds. I keep them in the freezer. They'll last for years. So none of them will go to waste. And I thought I saw... Plant a couple of oh, these bugs, man. Get out of my shirt. Plant a little oh, jalapenos. Definitely planting them because I didn't plant any last year. I'm going to plant a whole pot of these. Uh, one of those raised beds. Eggplant. I did not have luck with that last year. Spinach. Okra. I'm going to plant some okra this year. And I'm going to plant these wildflowers somewhere. So let's go back there and see what we're going to plant. And I know I showed that in a previous video, and but I wanted to say thank you to the person that said it. Didn't, I don't know who it came from. It doesn't say, but thank you. I know I, I didn't mention that, but uh, I always appreciate things like this. And anything any of you send me, uh, if I don't say thank you, that means I'm, you know, sometimes when you're shooting a video, you got your mind going on what you're trying to say, and it, it might get left out, but that doesn't mean I don't appreciate it. All right, so I've got this and this picked out and this we're gonna go back there and do some fun what you little booger butts doing rolling in the grass getting dirty <laughs> yeah sure are getting big yeah you guys play up a storm with miss toast yeah day after tomorrow she leaves so you gotta do some playing yeah. what'd you say oreo well, yeah, that's what I say. Huh? You gonna say it again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
This one here's got that little lump on her belly. I'm gonna have to, I think that's from the umbilical cord, but sometimes I've seen that before. It will eventually shrink. Hey now, I know you guys. All right. All right. I'm gonna take some of this Thai basil. I'm gonna put, let's get this pack down. I already wet this down. Got enough for a life here. All right, let me get a couple seeds and throw in there. Get on in there, little guy. Get in there. All right. You are planted. Ain't doing nothing. Goodness, how long does this take? I guess them seeds weren't no good. Let's do Thai basil in these three. You know that's going to smell good over here. And that's basil there. So, I'm going to put about two, let's put about three seeds in each. Okay. And one there. I mean, how much basil do you need? I actually use a lot of basil. And I still got some I, I uh, dehydrated from last year. And I put on my spaghetti. Uh, get in there, seed. Now these go all the way down uh, with the dirt, so they should be good. All right, so that's the Thai basil. Get back in there, little seeds. I'm going to use you again. I'm going to probably plant some more of this stuff somewhere else, too. All right. And here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to take a magic marker. I don't know why they call them magic, but it's magic. And I'm just going to write right here on the brick what it is. It'll wear off eventually. Because I could not find popsicle sticks or anything in this town. I'll know what these are. I just mark one. Okay, and then I'm gonna write on these pots or these uh, braised beds as well. Okay, so basil's planted. Well, let's keep this. Let's see what we're gonna put in that one. Oh, oh, stop on cantaloupe. All right, here's some more basil, wildflower, jalapeno. Let's put. Kale. Let's put some kale in there. I don't know. I've never grown kale or Swiss, Swiss chard. Parsley. Cilantro. Let's put some cilantro in here. Yeah. And I believe I got some growing out there as well. All right. I'm not going to film this whole process, guys. All right. I'll come back here when I get some more planted. So this raised bed, we've got uh, those peppers that were sent from California from a subscriber that said hot. So there's four of those and then four jalapenos in here. They should do fine. That entire raised bed is California Wonder Peppers. And over here we got cilantro, we got parsley, and we got dill and large leaf basil. And then that basil. And here, these first three, we got Thai basil. So now I just need to figure out what I'm going to put in there. And I'm going to get my dirt in these pots. Uh, guys, I'm going to tell you, I went today, I was going to buy some already started. 
and at my local co-op where I usually buy it, they are five fifty a plant. I've never seen them that high. I thought two fifty a plant uh, last year was high, and uh, so I said, "Hell with it. We're planting seeds. I am not going to pay that." I mean, with tax, you're talking almost six bucks. Unbelievable. And they know people is growing gardens more this year, so that's why they. I don't understand why things keep going up low, the way they do. The, the pandemic's over, but I knew once prices went up, you know, they're crying shortages and all this. There's nothing like that. So it's ridiculous. Even if somebody wants to start a garden that hasn't done seeds, they can't, unless you're a millionaire. So I didn't buy anything. The only thing I lack that I'm gonna have to buy is marigolds. Uh, I have planted marigolds from seed. They take forever. I, don't, I have not, not done that outside, but I don't even have any marigold seeds. So I'm gonna wait till I go to Walmart because I, I know I can get them cheap there, get a whole flat of them, and we'll put them in with the tomatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and I'm gonna get to work on the rest of this. I said I wasn't gonna do a full garden video, but I didn't say I wasn't gonna put in little clips. All right, guys, the gnats are coming out and my belly is growling. Time to go eat some lunch then i'm gonna come back out here and get the rest of these planted and i'm gonna try to keep better track of where i put stuff this year so like last year i gotta wait till it grows i don't know what it is until it's mature all right happy trails